Ladies and gentlemen, we're, uh, we're here, appropriately enough, in an old fire station to celebrate uh, an incredible piece of enterprise and effort by two chaps who put their heart and soul into a business and into our town and into our community. And I'm very, very proud to be here to celebrate with them and with you. And in this very appropriate venue, because of course, the fire service that this place represents underpins the ability of people to get together and live together, because of course it enables people to live close by without fear of destruction of one from another. And the other thing that allows us to work together, the very fundamental underpinning of our economy, is the ability to share risk. And that's what insurance does. Insurance allows us to share risk. So the first great traders came from the United Kingdom because it was here that we invented insurance to the Lloyd's market, as you know, to the Lloyd's Hockey House. So having an insurance broker coming in, setting up, a couple of young men setting up here in Tunbridge is fantastic. Not just because of who they are, or the fact that my wife is calling me and I've got to talk to my wife. <laughs> Not just because of who they are, but because of what they are doing for our town, what they're doing for our community. What they're doing is they're showing to us that risk has its rewards. Yeah, it has its risks, of course, but it has its rewards. And they're giving not only themselves a chance, and many other people, I hope, you will employ, pay loads of taxes, and, but also other businesses that we're going to start up, because you're going to allow other people to take risk and properly measure it, and therefore have opportunity. And that's the fundamental underpinning of our economy, the fundamental underpinning of our growth. So to Tunbridge, you guys are great news. Henry Scott, welcome, thank you. What a great day. I've had a couple of words, so I'm just going to only a few. So, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming. I want to say thank you to Sam, the fire station, Tom for opening the offices for us earlier, and for giving a great speech for us as well. We just thought we'd take a little bit of time to give you a few words about how we got to this position and also our vision for the future. So, Scott and I started the process of forming Clark Williams, which I say it's about 14 months ago with the help and support from Alison Barry and Mark. We previously worked together for a brokerage in Seven Oaks called Belmont International, um, and we became friends and we've stayed in touch ever since. I left and went to work for an insurance company up in London. Scott went off and worked for another broker in the local area. By chance, both of us had decided that we needed to change in our lives at the same time. We met for our usual catch-up, and without any of us knowing, we actually both come with the same intention to proposition the other with the idea of something like this. Not like that. <laughs> Very classic. The laws change, it's leader now. <laughs> it happened that we both thought the same way, that you know, we had our thoughts of the direction of this we were working for and going in, and we had our own ideas about how to improve the customer experience and the direction that we wanted to go in. So, as other people in that position probably thought before, we could do a much better job. <laughs> um, our aim was, and still is, to be customer and employee focused. Uh, to work hard for our customers, uh, provide them with technical support, but at a competitive price. We want to give okay, great customer service, which we've never felt is difficult, but sometimes in sugar supply, hard to find these days. Um, to do that, in the future, we know that we need to attract great staff, um, people that share those same values, that we, and we want to reward them and retain them, so that one day in the future, they'll be our point of call and our clients' point of call in their moment of need. Um, and you know, with the help and support of Barry, as and Mark, we hope that those aims will be realised, and that we can emulate not just the success that they had, but the atmosphere and working environment that they created at Belmont International, which was a great place to work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the coming months and years, we hope that we can become a big part of the community for our outgoing attitudes, um, our charity involvement, and whenever any luck, leave a stamp on Tombridge and Kent. So, thank you for coming, and we look forward to working with you all in the future.
Thanks. Thanks.